had mentioned in the book to become the woman of the dreams and you'll, you'll attract the man of your dreams and likewise for the guy. So speak to that, um, just how the singles can realize, hey, you know, the relationship is not my identity. My God is not my future. My God is not a sacrament. You know, my God is God. And my hope is going to be in him. My hope is not going to be in any earthly thing, even the holiest of sacraments, other than the blessed sacrament itself. And so speak to Amen. that of, of how they can take these years of singleness and work on all those virtues that they hope to find in a spouse so they can develop them in themselves. Yeah. Amen. Um, I have a little mantra that I make people repeat after me, but it's... Um, I will not settle. I will not settle. I will not settle. And nothing good happens out of desperation. And I just, I speak to so many guys and so many girls that are like, this has to be the one or I will never find anyone again. Um, I have to get married before I'm 29 or my life is over. I have to have a ring before spring or I will not graduate. Um, you know, like just, I, I, there's so much like panic. And if you are desperate, and you feel that desperation, that is like the devil's playground. And you're going to make decisions that are that you're going to regret. And you're going to let things, you're gonna let big things, you know, things that should be important, you're gonna let them, you're gonna write them off and be like, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, this, you know, this isn't that big of a deal. You know what, like settling doesn't just, you know, come in the fact that um, I, it, it's a million different forms, amen? So I just, I bring my heart, my whole heart to this, the whole, all your audience, all of your, your listeners, um, everything that we just talked about and everything that Jason and I and Kristalina and Matt and Chris and everybody, that everything we talk about, the first thing that you have to know is that we know that none of this is easy. Like nothing that we talk about is easy, but everything that we talk about, everything that I have pleaded with you in this last hour is worth it. Yeah. It's not easy, but it's worth it. And my life, I mean, I look back on my life and it's like, man, that was hard. Man, that yeah. was hard. Man, that was hard. Man, I mean, name it, right? Everything we talked about, everything yeah. in the book. I mean, that's, and what I, what I say is, is like, I want, again, like when I was dating Swaff, when we were talking about how we wanted our relationship to look, you know, and um, we both, our, was our first relationship post-conversion. And um, we just had a lot of conversations about like what we wanted out of this relationship. And I remember at one point we like, looked at each other and we were like, this is radical. And I actually wrote about that in the book. It was like, I know that everything I just said is radical. It's radical to the world. Like Sarah Swafford, super lame because she doesn't wear leggings. Sarah Swafford, super lame because she doesn't, you know, let, um, you know, she doesn't do X, Y, and Z. And she like calls for freedom and calls for chastity. And she wants guys and girls to like, you know, like talk to each other. And it's like, she's such a, you know, such prude. Like, I know that I am asking for such a, ra it's a radical ask. But like, you have no idea how much we want this for you. Like, you know, I mean, everyone always thinks about what am I going to lose if I go all in with the Lord? Like, what am I going to lose if I like take on this image of like a godly woman? If I want to be a daughter of God and I want to live this, if I want to be a, a son of God and take on that identity, like I'm going to lose everything. And I think my question back to that is like, no, 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 my friends, like, have you considered what you're going to gain? And can, have you considered what those friendships that are hard, you know, when you have to leave a friend group and say, I love you. But like, I can't go there with you anymore. I can't be in that. I can't be there with you anymore. I, I have to, I have to, I have to go. I have to bounce. Like when you say that and you go and find another group of friends, that is radical. That is hard. That doesn't make sense to the world. And so when I say like, I want you, if you're called to marriage, like this is going to be radical. People are going to make fun of you. People are going to question you. People are going to be like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So all the hate that I get, all the hate that Jason, that you get, all the people that come after us and the, the people after talks that, you know, like firmly disagree with what we're talking about. You know, it's like, dude, I know that it's, I know it's a lot. It's a big ask. I know that. But like, I will go to my grave saying, what is your alternative? And I refuse to let you walk through this life broken and heart, like heartbroken and just in a place of, I just want to, I want to take you in all of your woundedness and I want to lift you up and I want to make, I want you to put you before the Lord and I want the Lord to heal you. And then you, like, as you're healing, as you're growing, those relationships are going to come alive for you. And that's, that's what I mean when I say like, work on yourself, like take yourself before the Lord. Uh, Kristalina just did a beautiful thing on like, when do you want, like, when is the day you want to go back to confession today? Like today is the day, right? Like it's today. Today's the day that you want to heal and you want to grow and you want to look to some friends that are going to help you in that and not drag you down, you know? And if you're in a relationship that doesn't bring you to the Lord, 
just take a, a big step back and say like, man, I have to make a radical choice. What is this going to entail? What is this going to look like? Um, and everything that we've said and everything that I do is coming from a place of love. And I've been sweeping up broken pieces of people for 15, 20 years. And, and I, I will do it for the rest of my life. But if I can catch you before you hit the ground and shatter, then you better believe I will. And so just know that I love you and that I want that freedom and that peace that the world can't give. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that little clip, but if you wanna see the whole episode where this came from, just click the link here. And in the meantime, we wanna invite you to help us share this message. And there's a couple things you can do real quick. Number one, if you like or comment or share this video, YouTube will actually show it to more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We release videos every single day and you'll be notified as soon as those come out. If you wanna help us also to spread this message, you can support us at patreon.com slash Jason Everett. That helps us to create these videos and show them to the whole world. God bless. You.